question. Jay, please prepare and please, please start your presentation. Good afternoon and Salamat and Ahari. I'm Diana Anidiana from Malaysia, a representative from Team J, which is beautifully known um, as Mario or Team A. A great collaboration with Korea and Malaysia. I'm delighted and grateful to be standing up here to share what my team and I have done. Have you heard about mushroom? In Korea, they are called Bosom. In Malay, they are called Chendawai. Basically, we have created um, an educational website which students in elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools can use it to get education information which helps them in studies. We have the, all the information about mushrooms, the recipes, the stories about mushrooms, the quizzes which students can take after they read everything about the mushrooms, and some um, guides to go mushrooming, mushroom hunting. I'm going to briefly explain about the relationship between mushroom and humans. I can say that it is a mystery because mushrooms are known for being poisonous. So let's start with an interactive pamphlet about our research on mushrooms. Firstly, we wanted to know where it is mostly found and what are the common names for the mushrooms, what do they look like, shapes, colors, and or special characteristics, what is the habitat. Secondly, to distinguish the types of mushroom, is it poisonous? non-poisonous or edible, non-edible. Knowing this can prevent allergies or even fatalities. Next, how mushroom can benefit us in cooking and medicinal purposes? Can they be commercialized in food or medical industry? What type of mushrooms can cure specific diseases? Next is how the educational websites educate students and acquire knowledge as a resource center. So, what do you know about mushroom? Is it a plant or is it an animal? This is the most common assumption and this is where people go wrong because they make such assumptions. Mushroom is neither a plant nor an animal. There are fruiting bodies produced by fungi. Most mushroom have umbrella shapes. The best time to go mushroom hunting is autumn with suitable temperature and moisture conditions. Here are the differences between a flower and a mushroom. As you can see, the flower and the mushroom have a very a lot of difference and and they have no seeds, they have no roots, leaves or stems, and they also do not have any chlorophyll because they feed they mostly feed on dead animals and dead plants which this keeps the environment clean and enriches the soil. Do you know that mushrooms are mainly used for medicinal purposes and in cooking? Mushroom has contributed a lot in cooking. For example, mushroom is the best replacement for meat. This is a good use for vegetarians, as mushroom has the richest source of selenium, which gives a proper functioning of the immune system. Do you fancy a burger? I bet all of us do, right? Did you know that a meat burger contains over 9,000 calories? And try to imagine that it's a very huge amount of calories. And so, why not go for a mushroom burger, which has for about 750 calories? So now you see there's a huge difference. And more and more people are becoming vegetarians nowadays. And mushrooms are also widely used in cuisines all over the world, uh, including Korean dishes and Malaysian dishes. Historically, mushrooms have long been thought to hold the medicinal value of traditional medicine, Chinese medicines. It extracts uh, mushroom modulates immune system and inhibits tumor growth. And its extracts are used in radiation treatments and chemotherapy, which is widely used in Japan, Korea, and China, like dried lingyu mushroom, lingzi mushroom, maitake mushroom, and shiitake mushrooms. They are widely used in Chinese medicines. 
mushrooms bring about a huge benefits to humans. A great loss, mushroom is a great weight loss food. Want to lose weight? Change your diet. Take mushrooms. Forget about the diet schemes or expensive equipments. Just go on a mushroom diet. Mushroom also, they are very low in calories, fat free, cholesterol free, and very low in sodium. Mushroom also provide important nutrients, such as uh, there are main sources of vitamin B and minerals. For vitamin B, mushrooms are rich in riboflavin, which helps to maintain healthy red blood cells, niacin, which promote healthy skin and functional immune system and nervous system. Pentotenic acid increases the production of hormones. For minerals, mushrooms are rich in potassium, which maintain healthy blood pressure, copper to keep bones and nerves healthy, selenium, which increases the production of immune system, the functional immune system, and ergotamine is a natural antioxidant which helps to protect your body cells. Mushroom also contain beta glucans, which is which has an immune immune stimulating effects. You know, before the invention of synthetic dyes, they are used as dyeing wools. Coma forests of mushroom dyes produce strong and vivid colors, which produce a lot of colorful dyeing wools. Mushroom can also decrease cancer risk, and they have various of disease-fighting properties like antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antiparasitic, and antiviral. Do you know mushroom can help to cleanse our mother nature? They act as a biological cleanser, and they play a huge role in development of new biological remediation techniques and filtration techniques, technologies such as micro-remediation and micro-filtration. They used to reduce the water level, the bacteria water level in the water. So, my question is, is mushroom a deadly poisonous or a tasty delicacy? If you go mushrooming, follow proper steps. Do not eat it unless you are very sure because small intake of mushroom, poisonous mushroom, bring about death. There are many cases which families are poisoned. Do not assume a family looking mushroom is it safe to eat? Bring an expert if you have doubts about it. There are various best edible mushroom species which you can take, get from the supermarket and practice in your healthy diet, food diet. But there are also some species which are poisonous and please make sure that you know the differences between poisonous and non-poisonous mushrooms. So, are you interested to go mushrooming? All you need is a compass, a mesh bag, a walking stick, an insect repellent, hiking boots, water and some snacks, and a walkie-talkie. So these are some interactive websites that we use to share all about mushrooms to the public. This is a glossary, like an interactive poster, and this is a pop-up that we used just now, and here is a web page that we have created. So please feel free to look into it. So I hope you do visit our website and change your eating diet and practice a mushroom in your diet. And thank you for lending me your ears. So before I end, let me show you a short video that we made. And please enjoy. <laughs> Mushroom, but we couldn't find mushrooms so of pig flour. I find japchae with mushrooms in it very delicious.
time is over. Please stop and prepare your Q&A session. Sorry, Thank you. And dear judges, please ask them questions regarding the presentation.